I did a video recently talking about the fact that people of different personality types do a lot of the same things and that trying to identify a personality's a, a person's personality type through what they do is not really the correct approach it's more identifying it through why they do it and what emotional state they are in while they're doing it so i want to just give one example of what i'm talking about in this video and i'm going to use sensing and the um the organization or the uh, arrangement of the physical world around the person. So all of us in our top four functions have either introverted sensing or extroverted sensing. Now sensing places a higher priority on the physical tangible world, uh, whereas intuition places a higher priority on the invisible, um, the ideological, the metaphysical, the uh, possible, the idea, you know, the, the sort of the invisible that exists behind the physical, uh, the future, things that are not per, per se like in the here and now and grabbable, touchable, um, you know, able to reach out and say, hey, I, I have a hold of this physical object. People who favor their sensing over intuition are going to place a higher priority on the physical world than on the, we'll just say metaphysical, but use that word metaphysical to incorporate all of those things I just talked about for intuition. So people who have sensing in their first or second slot are going to place a higher priority on the physical world. Uh, but the, in, I'm sorry, the introverted sensors, people who have introverted sensing, uh, really anywhere in their cognitive function stack are going to approach the physical world and prioritize the physical world differently than those who have extroverted sensing in their cognitive function stack. And you'll see this come out, you should see this come out in every personality type. Um, but the higher the sensing is, the more constant this will be, the more of a uh, a driving need this will be for the person, okay? So let's just talk about the concept of organizing one's physical environment. We could think of this as keeping one's car, the, in, the inside of one's car in a certain order. We could think of it as uh, having the living room of the home generally organized and well-kept. It could be the tools in the garage or something of that nature, whatever it is, sensing those who favor their sensing over intuition are going to place a higher priority, generally speaking, on the need to have a certain physical environment around them. That is going to come out more so than it will in people who have intuition as one of their first two functions, though you will see it in intuitive people as well. But it's, it's not the same between an introverted sensor and an extroverted sensor. And here is what I mean by that. Let's say you go into uh, the, the home of a person who has introverted sensing as their first or second function. And you notice that, uh, generally speaking, things are in their place. There is organization. Things are relatively picked up, well-kept. Um, there's a general sense of cleanliness about your experience inside the home of this introverted sensor. Now, you may come away from that if you are not careful by saying, you may come away saying to yourself, clearly that was an ISTJ, clearly that was an ESTJ, or clearly that was uh, someone with introverted sensing as their first or second function. And you may be right, but it is very possible for you to go into the home of someone who has extroverted sensing as their first or second function and experience the exact same thing. The question is not, do they have introverted or extroverted sensing uh, because their, their, their home is clean or their environment is nice looking, it's pleasant to walk into? The question is, why did they make it clean, organized, and pleasant to walk into in the first place? And the answer is going to be different for people who have introverted sensing versus those who have extroverted. 
For a person with introverted sensing, the need to organize the physical world is hardwired into their mind and their way of functioning. Now, does that mean that someone who has introverted sensing as a first or second function is not going to have a room in their house that is a complete mess? No, they might. Does it mean that their car will always be clean and pristine inside? No, it doesn't necessarily mean that. Or that their garage is perfectly organized? No, it doesn't mean that either. But they will usually have a portion of their physical environment or maybe all of their physical environment that is not only clean and tidy, but well organized. And the likelihood is that for those who have higher SI, that's going to uh, pervade a larger portion of their physical environment. So it may be their whole house or it may be their living room, kitchen, uh, bathroom, car, and garage. It could be a, a larger portion of their environment than someone else. And it's sort of this need not only to have the physical environment look nice. In fact, I would say actually for introverted sensing, it's a little bit less about having the uh, physical environment look nice and more about having it organized so that it functions, so that it can be a place of enjoyment for get-togethers or whatever the case may be. Now, for your S-I-T-E people, it will be more, I need to keep this organized so that everything will function properly. And for the S-I-F-E people, it's going to be, I need to keep this more organized so that we have this nice place to gather as a family and enjoy one another's company and these sorts of things. But the fact that you walk into a home and find that the living room is well kept and that the, the you know, there's a place for each bit of silverware in the kitchen and, you know, a place for everything and everything in its place kind of thing does not mean you're not in the home of someone who has extroverted sensing somewhere in their cognitive function stack, especially perhaps a little bit higher. Why? For the extroverted sensing person, they do not necessarily, in fact, I would say they do not have it hardwired into their brain that everything must be organized. Everything must be in its place. Everything must be pristine and clean and uh, just so. But rather, for the extroverted sensing person, they are constantly aware of their physical environment, scanning it all, all the time, and noticing the things that either will say, um, make sense or are pleasant, bring a good feeling. And so for the extroverted sensing person, I think there's a higher likelihood that you'll find portions of their environment that are well-structured, clean, pristine, and organized, and portions that are a complete wreck. Uh, more so than you will with the SI people, the introverted sensing people, who are more likely to have everything in, uh, are, are a larger portion of their physical environment in good order. But for the extroverted sensing person, it really can come out in two ways. For the extroverted sensing people who have that combined with introverted thinking, so your ISTPs and your uh, ESTPs, it's going to be a little bit more along the lines of, I need to keep this space organized and clean and in good order for uh, the ability to manipulate my physical world and accomplish the task that I am focused on. So the SETI or TISE people are much more focused on um, accomplishing something or figuring something out in the physical world. But oftentimes they're not going to be able to do that if they don't keep their physical world in some kind of order. So uh, it would be the equivalent of a mechanic keeping all of his or her tools in, in just in the right drawer and in the right spot. So when they're working on the car, they know exactly where to go to get the tool that they need so they can get the thing done. Now for the SEFI people, such as myself or FISE, regardless of which way that is, it's going to be more, I want my physical uh, environment to be orderly and nice because it makes me feel good. It brings me joy. It's pleasant. I like it when I walk in the room and the room is clean. It brings a good emotion to me. It gets my chemicals moving in a way that I like. And so for the SEFI or FISE people, again, you may find that they have two rooms in their house that are always clean and nice and really organized because those are the two rooms that they either spend their most time in or the two rooms where they want to walk in and they want to be able to go in there and, and relax and feel like everything just makes them feel good. And if there's 
you know, uh, uh, candy wrappers left on the table and, you know, tissues that haven't been thrown away and uh, the, um, the you know, computer cords are stretched out across the floor and these sorts of things. It takes away from that good feeling of, oh, I can come in here and relax and everything just makes me, uh, makes my chemicals move in a way that makes me happy or makes me feel good. So you can walk into the environment of someone with high introverted sensing and see everything pristine and clean and organized and whatnot and say, well, this is very, uh, this is a very, you know, well-oiled machine. This is very pleasant. I like it here. Um, but the reason that it's like that is not the same as the reason the high extroverted sensing person does the exact same thing. So there's, there's a, a similar outcome, similar activities. Oh, look at that ISFP. He cleans a lot. Oh, look at that ISTP, she keeps her area very well organized. Oh, look at that ESFP, his his car is um, always so nice looking. I think he washes it every week and there's never even a, a hint of, you know, a blade of grass laying on the, on the floor mat. Or, you know, look at that ESTP and the way that, you know, um, if you say to her, hey, can I borrow a whatever? She knows exactly where to go to get it. She never has to dig around or she's not sure which drawer it's in or anything like that. Now, these outcomes are the same. This, the outcome in both cases is, oh, this is a pleasant environment to be in. The outcome is, wow, this looks really nice. The outcome is, oh, it's very organized in here. It's very clean. The outcome is, I know exactly where to go to find that thing. I, I don't lose my keys. I don't lose my wallet. I don't lose all of these things. I always know where everything is, and I always have everything where I want it, and everything always looks nice, and so on and so forth. But the drive, the need is so different. For SI, it's hardwired. Things must be organized in the physical world. And for SE, it's hardwired. Things must be pleasant in the physical world. For SI, combined with TE, things must be organized in the physical world so that I am able to accomplish the task. For SI combined with FE, things must be pleasant in the physical world and organized so that we can enjoy one another's company in this nice area. For SE with FI, I need everything to be in a good order and, and looking nice because it makes me feel good. And for SE with TI, I need everything to be um, cleaned up and put away properly and, and structured well so that when I need to go find the tool, when I need to go find that item that I need to figure out this task that I'm trying to accomplish or to be able to puzzle out this um this machine that I'm working on, you know, I need to get, I need to work on my computer and I need these three screwdrivers to do it. Well, I've got my SE, my physical, sensory, extroverted, sensory world organized like I want it and need it so that I can find the screwdriver. This is sensing. Sensing is so focused on the physical world. Now, the interesting thing about this, among other things, is that Everything that I just said is true for people who have sensing in the third or fourth slot. It's just not the priority. It's not the driving hardwiring of the brain. For the, for the person who favors their intuition over their sensing, they will do all of these same things, but they will not tend to do them on autopilot. They will not tend to do them as regularly. They will not prioritize these things as much. You will often find it coming out in sudden moments, in bursts of energy where the in the high extroverted intuition person just suddenly needs to organize and get things in order because that S, that low introverted sensing hard wiring is still saying, hey, it's not good that things aren't in order. You know, 10 days out of 11, the high extroverted intuition person maybe can't find uh, his or her keys, doesn't know where he or she left their their wallet or whatever. And then one day they wake up and they're like, I have to get everything organized and they get it all perfect and immaculate. But unlike the high SI person, they don't keep it that way. They often let it fall back into disrepair and it causes them problems after problem after problem after problem. For the high NI person, again, placing a value, a high value on the, the experiencing of the physical world, be it 
Um, I want to experience my immediate physical environment in a pleasant way, so I will keep it organized, or I want to go out and explore the physical world can often be neglected. It can fall away in favor of this abstract planning for the future, this abstract imagining out possibilities, this abstract sort of um, looking at all of the different potential roads that could be taken for the driving of and the the moving forward in life, um, all the time at the expense of the sensory experience. And so again, with the high NI people, we will also see moments where the brain says, hey, we really need to be engaging with the physical world more. And that could lead to a high NI person suddenly, you know, organizing their house to make it look nice and feel good. It could lead to a high NI person suddenly saying, I want to go out and take a walk in the woods. Who knows? It'll come out in different ways. But in all of these cases, the, the, the need is the same, but the level of the need varies. The level of the need is lower for the intuitive person and the drive for the need is different for the introverted sensing versus extroverted sensing person. It may all look the same. It may all look like generally cleaning up, organizing the physical world, but it has such different purposes in the different minds of different people. And it is driven by different needs, different hard wiring in the brain. And it is prioritized to a greater degree for people who favor their sensing over their intuition and to a lesser degree for the people who favor their intuition over their sensing. This is so true of all of the of all of the um, the functions. I could do this video on intuition, extroverted versus introverted, high versus low. I could do this on thinking, extroverted versus introverted, high versus low, and feeling as well. You cannot be sure that you understand a person's personality type just by looking at what they do. You have to ask yourself, but why do they do it? You have to ask yourself, how often do they do it? Are they driven to do it constantly? Is it just an automatic thing that they do? And what is their emotional state when they do it? Does it stress them beyond all get out? Or are they pretty well just like, yeah, of course I'm doing this. Do, 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 do. I'm organizing my physical world. I'm, I'm, or I'm turning my physical world into something that's pleasant for me or for everybody so that I can make it work or so that we can get something done. These are the considerations that help you to truly understand what is going on in someone's mind. Thank you so much for watching. I do have a favor to ask of you, by the way. Some of you might not um, watch my videos all the way to the end, and I usually say this at the end. Um, I do have a, a site on a website called Coffee, K O F I where you can make a donation to this channel. Um, I work full time and cannot make videos as often as I would like to. If you are benefiting from these videos and from my channel and would be willing to make a finan financial donation to what I'm doing here, I would greatly appreciate it. The more financial donations I'm able to receive, the more time it will free me up to do more videos. Thank you so much. Please hit like if you found this video informational, entertaining, or useful. Please subscribe if you have not already and have an awesome day. Bye now.